Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and welcome to Shatterline, a new free-to-play for FPS with both a roguelike FPS ex expedition mode as well as a PvP mode. Gonna be checking out the expedition mode with Zeke and uh, seeing how it plays. All right, let's get into it. Can you think of any other roguelike FPSs? There's a uh, that one kind of cartoony one, right, with like the little furry animals. Yeah, there's that. There's another one. Uh, it's fairly old, and nobody really talks about it. I I have it on Steam. I just can't remember the name of it. Mm -hmm. Gotta stick to Malava. Oh, this random cocksucker took my Malva. Time for him to never use his healing ability. Guess I'll try out this chick. So, like, do you have your ability? Good luck, team. Uh, we're still working out the bugs on that contamination meter. If it makes any weird noises, please mention that in the survey. Deal with that charge skin. Here we go. Win. Bump action shotgun. You know, I would take that if I could replace my like secondary with it, but no. Discharge crystalline sparks while sliding. That just sounds so stupid, but I want to keep my sniper open. Wee. What is that actually doing? Dead. Man, that one, pal. Gotta start skin. So the contamination bar, are you like running against a clock? Are we what? Are we running against a clock? No! The contamination oh, bar just. The contamination bar, from what I can tell, was just um. Like as you complete objectives and do stuff and kill things, it rises and makes the difficulty go up. feel oddly destiny like to be honest on mouse and keyboard contamination 
operation intensifies. Watch out. Assuming that these flying things are bad to shoot. That's what I'm doing. Why does everything in this game oh, have to no. get progressively louder? Experimental multi spectral camouflage for things you have right here. Oh, they, that's just one of my abilities. Okay. Glad to know that getting your abilities is considered an epic. Yeah, we just jumped out of a plane randomly and just decided, eh, fuck it, we'll just wing it when we get there. Let's do some Shit. exciting soil analysis. And yes, soil analysis can be invigorating. No, I can't. I'll drop some probes onto your position. Make sure they're unharmed while digging with their adorable little scoops. Dropping a probe. Keep an eye on it. Like no damage from my own. I killed him. Okay, good. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Oh, I was able to trade my life for the fucking healer. I mean, 
mean, I don't think his ult is up, so he doesn't really do much healing right now. Hey, by some miracle, we completed. Succeeded, nice. Contamination increased. Detected. All right, Be advised. Ground control to Major Tom. I guess that's just like an innate part of this map that airstrikes just randomly have. Primary weapon best type. Slightly increase the amount of carried ammo for the primary weapon. Refills ammo to maximum. I guess I'll just take both of my abilities for now. Doesn't seem too hard to like keep your ammo up. Explosive upon landing. The higher you jump, the bigger the explosion. My god, do I hate things like that. interesting. Actually, I'll try it out. Oh, this so help me god when we find the motherfucker that's like a party the planet. Balance handgun, and his reputation. Sure, I'll try it up. Well, well, a straight for research station. They must be hoarding terabytes of data inside. Team, let's get in there and hack the shit out of this place. All right, you're in. Now, I need you to compromise this. That was the most system. unscientific thing I've ever heard. Words. Let's get in there and hack the shit out of this place. Install. Tracking data leak. Got it. Head over to the exposed cluster. Team, upload in progress. Return to the hard drive. Breakers down. Upload complete. Another leak detected. Return to the hard drive. 
fuck hit me so hard? It says there's something right here. Is it above us? We got this chunk. On to the next one. Oh, okay. Oops, I'm empty. Team, upload in progress. Return to the hard drive. Now. Upload complete. Another leak detected. Oh, hey, man. Team, upload in progress. Return to the hard drive. One hit from my ult to their back seems to one shot. I don't know if I can give them a look behind me. Oh crap. I think random zip. Yeah. I'm cloaking and trying to go again. Oh, hey buddy. Slows down enemies and protects you from gunfire. Fuck yeah! What I get? A big ass can revolver? Fuck yeah!
that's a beautiful looking thing. Ammo becomes explosive after a period of inactivity. I can't, I, I, I got I gotta try. I gotta try it. This is one big ass sniper ammo. Please, I just wanna climb! I am. Aha! That's one of our supply bits. Wonder how it even got here. Gain a chance to create a spinning laser upon kill. How are we supposed to get up there? Uh, suck, suck. Uh, oh, wait, no, I can kick this down, I think. Eh. Eh. Reloading, one second. What are you saying, Zeke? Bitch, where took you? Yes. All right, let's go. Team, Dr. Sullivan's stolen strafer files refer to this one as Specimen Grinder, a crystalline defense matrix that lures volatile creatures to its maw and releases a defensive energy pulse. Or as he puts it, Grinder Mouth eats a bomber dog and it makes a big boom. Oh, Dr. Sullivan is a man-child. A brilliant, arrogant man-child. Who comes up with bomber dog? Oh, well, bomber dog seems alright to me. Kill that bomber dog before it reaches the specimen. Oh, Dios, he's got me saying it now. One question, lady. How? Okay. Now you're pushing. Rip the there we go. Sign out of the bomber dog and disrupt the shield matrix with it. Bomber dog on the scanner. Bomber dog fine. Bomber dog fine. What an unexpected phrase. Huh. You're doing great, Shell Guard. Well, that healing on fucking sidearm kill is serious. That just brought me back from like 20% to full. Nice. Increased health. Classic military sniper rifle with a uh, sliding bolt system, the highest rate of fire amongst bolt actions. Reloading. 
think I'll just get more health. Oh, that's a lot more health. Ability cooldown while the ultimate is fully charged. Protective barrage, creates an explosive barrage around you when your health drops below 50. I just like the overcharged sidearm thing. Guess we gotta go. We're going the wrong direction. Oh, it just changed. for weapons. Team, you found oh yeah, no, I didn't doubt that. It was just the rate that I was worrying about. Oh. oh my god, that was just a bombardment into a bombardment into a, oh my goodness, book. 
I'm gonna die to burn. No. Thanks, Random. Oh good, more invincible assholes. I think it's just frontal though. Let's see if there's a way to get another angle. Our teammate went down. My cloak will be up in a second. My cloak's up, I'll go for him. So I guess it's a weird combination of your trying not to do as many side objectives if you want to complete all of the main objectives because you're raising the contamination so much when you complete the side objectives. And once it reads contam maximum contamination, you just have to go. Yeah. Still, not bad. We got eight blueprints or whatever that's worth. They really should give you the choice, though. Like, even when it's maxed out, it should be like, eh, fuck it, we'll keep going. That's what I was thinking was going to be the case, but I guess not. Oh. Alright, so that was an expedition run of Shadowline. We were able to complete three of the four objectives, not exactly understanding that we were a little pinched for time, and we did so many, not as much time as much as we completed so many side objectives that it pushed the danger level to maximum before we were able to complete the fourth one. So definitely watch that. You know, be careful of how many of the side objectives you complete um, if you're looking to get all four and maximize your profit from the extraction. But even so, PVE is definitely the way to go. As far as grinding the currency is concerned, we netted a ton of it just from a few objectives completed for the week, and you just get a lot from completing a run of PvE in comparison to the, like, 30 you get per match in PvP. So if you're looking to grind out weapons and buy your attachments with the currency, can't help but suggest PvE, you know, in, until you get the weapons you want, until you get the attachments you want. Because as you see, you level the classification of weapon, which unlocks the next tier of the weapon. You then are able to purchase said weapon with the currency that we unlocked, which is right up here in the top right. And uh, yeah, you get a bunch of it from PvE, so it makes your life a whole lot easier. It makes that grind feel a little less, well, grindy. Uh, in any case, this has been me, Graves IV, and Zeke. And we hope you enjoyed the show. Hope you enjoyed the demonstration of Shadowline. Not exactly my thing, but this is more or less just a expose for the fact that it's another free-to-play game for those of you out there that aren't looking to drop $120 for the next Call of Duty. It's solid, good net play, and uh, hell, maybe I'll throw up some PvP content later on this week. Uh, hope you have a good time. Hope you have a good night. Uh, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.